Hey guys, welcome back to CEO.ca. As you can see, we've got the CEO of Graphene Manufacturing Group, Craig Nicol, back in the studio with us. This time to talk about something um, different, right? Uh, we covered another product that was theirs back a couple months ago. I'll link the video for you above, uh, if just in case you want to check it out as well. Uh, but today we're talking about a battery development. So Craig, I'll give it over to you. Uh, walk us through what you updated the market with here regarding your graphene battery um, and how the markets have responded so far as well. Hi, uh, Rachel. Thanks for uh, letting me back on. It's, uh, it's great to be talking about our battery progress after many years. We've been uh, developing our battery, which is a, a new technology called an aluminium ion battery or graphene aluminium ion battery. This uses an aluminium ion rather than a lithium ion and as a result, a lot more abundant, lower cost material. Uh, we announced yesterday that we could uh, now be able to sustainably charge our battery in six minutes, uh, which is exactly the type of uh, timeline we need to be able to charge it for our customers. Our largest uh, customer focus we are working on is Rio Tinto, who are working with product development uh, on, on this. Uh, their application is to fast charge batteries and they need something that can be charged in around six minutes and safe and, and long life. And this is um, a big progress uh, to announce, you know, this where we are now. Um, we, and so hence, you know, we're, we're very happy to come out on, on, on these numbers. I think over time, we will uh, continue to improve the numbers, uh, but it's great to just get out there and tell people what we're up to uh, on our battery. Ultimately, who will be the buyers of your products? Yeah. So. Uh, Lithium-ion batteries are obviously uh, been developed around the, the more uh, energy dense, the longer drive. Um, our batteries are developed more around fast charging and more, repeti more repetition of charging. We believe there's a massive market out there. Um, there is a currently a battery out there that kind of services that uh, uh, application called an LTO, lithium titanate oxide battery. It's about a $5 billion market per annum right now. And that expected to double over the next six years. We believe our battery could be a good replacement for that already. And as we improve our energy density over the next year, we think we should, we, we should eventually be outperforming that battery. That battery, though, is charged, um, is priced at a much higher price, typically 15 times more than a lithium battery. Uh, we, we will be coming in a lot lower than that. Uh, so as a result, you know, we believe we have a very competitive offer uh, not just for LTO applications, uh, but in many, many other applications where businesses want to get a fast charge, want to get their application up and running really fast. And lithium batteries just can't do that. And we're, we're in a very, uh, very large niche market um, and where B2B batteries are really uh, you know, struggling to, to take off in usage rates, like, but you know, not like uh, EVs where they've really taken hold. And we think we've got something really special here. And that technology has been progressed just specifically for that focus. Mm -hmm. So what's the next big milestone uh, that's, set it, that's set to come up for, for your battery product? Yeah, so the next stage is we'll be announcing uh, further progress on energy density. And then we'll be also going through a whole range of testing for safety, uh, for uh, different uh, so customer application tests. There are a range of uh, tests that we've already got lined up for, say, nail penetration. The usual things that batteries get tested, we don't see uh, foresee any issues there. Uh, and then we'll just be looking at longevity. So we really need this battery to last tens of thousands of cycles. We don't. We, we think that it can. Uh, so we'll be able to kind of test that and come out on that. And then as as we progress, we expect a number of different battery companies who've been in in behind NDAs to either progress to more testing um, or and or uh, potential partnership deals. This is the kind of the next more exciting phase we'll be going through is the hard yards, the really hard yards of technology development, uh, working in, in a very focused team uh, in our weekly sprints to get our technology here. We've basically rebuilt this battery from, 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 from ground up. Every part of it has been um, ripped apart and put back together to get where we are. There are many new technologies in this and that's we've put in a new um, a pattern as well. So very happy where we are. We believe this is a massive market. Um, B2B batteries are completely undersung in terms of their application space. Uh, Rio Tinto, one of the biggest miners in the world, obviously says so because they need this battery. That's why they backed us on this 
uh, and we're very, very pleased where we're at. Now, followers of your story will know that your graphene coating product is commercialized. It's it's moving on. Um, I understand that with batteries, you're still in the testing phase, and I'll continue. But when it comes to getting ready to go to the market, will you be backed up by the fact that you're doing this already with other products in your portfolio? Yeah, so we've got three products out in the market already. Our graphene coating, which you just talked about, a graphene lubricant additive for in energy savings on, on engines, um, mainly focused on B2B market as well. And then the um, the, the additive for lithium-ion batteries, which is an hand enhancer to fast charge your lithium-ion batteries. So th this is the fourth one, which will uh, we believe will come into mass market in, in 2027. Um, so 2026, you're going to see more uh, testing, you're going to see more development, and we will be taking the shareholder on, on the journey as we as we progress these through these phases. And then in 2027, we should be looking to come out. There, there are a lot of battery plants, um, sadly, uh, or fortunately, that are actually available, being built, and we think we can use those because we'll be using very similar technology or the same technology that lithium-ion batteries use uh, to make them. So this next phase of the, the product development we believe will be quite, you know, a lot more information sharing uh, timely because of the fact that will be more engagements and, and more more detailed uh, uh, data. Uh, so hence, you know, the next year will be quite quite exciting, uh, and then in 2027 we should be coming out um, with some products for for potential sales. Mm -hmm. Well, so far this year we have seen the markets respond positively to your stock price. So. Uh, good to see that, and we'll keep watching GMG. Thank you very much, Craig. Thanks, Rachel. As usual, guys, you can go to co.ca slash GMG to go directly to uh, the company's dedicated message board where you can see things like investor sentiment for yourself. Thanks for watching.